Which gold coins are best for stacking? Watch as I rank my top 10 gold coins. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. So which gold coins are best for stacking? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna rank my gold coins in order of my stacking preference. I'll also tell you what gold coins are not good for stacking and would be more of a target for gold collectors due to their ultra high premiums. I'm not gonna spend much time talking about uh, fractional gold coins. Uh, in general, you pay more for gold when it is less than an ounce. However, my rankings would probably be pretty consistent with fractional gold. I also don't talk about generic gold rounds in this video either, though I do plan on discussing them in the future. And finally, I'm gonna show you one gold coin I just bought from SD Bullion that I am so super pumped to unbox. It's not a good gold stacking item, but it is so beautiful and so meaningful. I just had to buy it for a collector item and, and I really wanna share it with you. Big shout out to SD Bullion and their amazing selection and deals. Please check them out. Actually go to sdbullion.com slash Yankee to sign up for their incredible silver monster box giveaway. I'm focusing on the standard gold items for stacking and these are, I think, good gold coin representatives. Let's start with number 10. It's the Chinese Panda. Look at that. Yeah, it's a nice 24 karat gold coin. And panda bears are so cute. But it does have some negatives. All right, first, these gold coins and their silver counterparts actually are now measured in grams, not ounces. Secondly, they are commonly counterfeited. I mean, Come on, they're from China, right? <laughs> and third, it's from China. Okay, I hate their government. I hate what they stand for. China is uh, an oppressive regime whose ultimate goal is the defeat of the West, generally, uh, and the downfall of the U.S., specifically. The only reason I have one of these is because I was buying you know, one ounce gold from around the world and I thought, you know, I'll take an ounce from their insanely large stockpile of gold. <laughs> one less gold coin for them, but don't stack them. Okay. That's number 10. Number nine, the Libertad. Oh, I get questioned about the Libertad all the time, gold and silver. Libertads are crazy high priced coins. All right, they are collector items and uh, rabid fans of this design are willing to pay top dollar for them. I wonder why. I mean, <laughs> well, maybe maybe I don't need to wonder why. Anyway, I got one and it's the last one I'll probably ever buy. So expensive, not a gold coin worth stacking in any way, shape or form, in my opinion. You know, the Mexican Mint knows that they are crazy popular. They uh, greatly limit the mintages. They even make them available to their citizens before they are shipped to wholesalers all around the world. I mean, it, it's a racket, okay? I don't really understand its high level of appeal. So anyway, number eight, South African Cougarand. It's 22 karat gold. The reverse has the springbok, and it's a pretty design. My dad always wanted a cougaran. Uh, since I was a kid, he would talk about it. So it has a little mystique surrounding it, but it's not, in my opinion, a very good stacking target. I really don't like the color either. It's not that, you know, uh, brilliant 24 karat, and uh, yeah, the copper color is just, yeah, not my favorite. This one's back in, from 1979. Anyway, the Cougaran comes in at number eight. Number seven, the Austrian Philharmonic. Now this 24 karat gold coin is pretty, but I'm really not a huge fan of the design either. 
I know the music theme means a lot uh, to some people, especially Austrians. <laughs> that's that's cool. I used to play an instrument for many, many years. Um, why don't you leave a comment below guessing which uh, instrument I played. Uh, but it, yeah, it's just not my favorite. Um, I'm also not a big fan of its thickness, okay? The Philly is super thin. Yeah, it does have an interesting reeded edge. Yeah, I could probably figure it out. So anyway, is it okay for stacking? Well, yeah, I guess, especially for an Austrian. Uh, side note, Mrs. Yankee has been to Austria and she really wants to take me there. So maybe I should be a little bit more careful <laughs> with uh, this coin's ranking. Huh? Number six, the Australian kangaroo. A stunning 24 karat gold coin. And yes, the new modern redesign has been both praised and panned. I like it. I, I mean, I like the font. That is cool. And it's relatively uh, reasonably priced as well. Of course, uh, does have the queenie on the obverse. And I know that triggers a lot of people, but whatever. Um, I like it. I like the kangaroo style, the action on that reverse. I can definitely see people stacking some of these. And frankly, I, I, I got two because I like it so much. And I think it deserves my sixth place ranking. All right, we're down to the final five. Number five, it's the American $20 Gold Liberty. This gold coin represents all the pre-33 gold that I believe is worthy of stacking. See, the trick here, though, is to think stacking, okay, not collecting. That means you should focus more on, you know, low-grade, uh, high-mintage, and no key dates, all right? Cull or uh, jewelry grade is a good target for stacking this uh, pre-33 gold. So pretty, wow. And liberties tend to be some of the cheapest pre-33 gold coins around. Indian heads are definitely more expensive and the St. Gaudens can be pricier too. So be careful uh, with exactly what pre-33 you're after. Um, you know, and, and the other thing is, remember that that these $20 gold coins are 90% gold, just shy of one troy ounce. So 0.9675 ounces to be precise. So you need to remember that when you're doing your calculations to determine if you're getting a good deal on these constitutional gold coins. But guys, <laughs> you also get a really nice dose of history when you stack these coins. Just think of the men and women who held these coins back over 100 years ago, who, who actually transacted with them. I just think that's so cool. And I think they are definitely worth stacking. Number four, it's the British Gold Britannia. Yes. I love this coin so much. You know, I know the queen is on the obverse. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but dang, that reverse is lit. These 24 karat gold bullion coins are great for stackers on both sides of the pond. I haven't spoken much about security features in this video yet, but the Brits have done a great job in safeguarding your gold. And you really do need to be careful with gold. It's uh, highly counterfeited. Um, they've added advanced visual features like the trident in the circle. If you move it, it goes from a trident to a, a padlock. Oh, so cool. And uh, they have other you know, surface animations with those background waves. They have micro text and lines. I mean, they really know what they're doing when it comes to uh, anti-counterfeiting technologies. Um, I think they've set the bar with uh, gold security, frankly. Finally, I, uh, I have found that the price of uh, gold Britannias, their premiums, to be quite competitive. I've got, uh, let's see, how many do I have? I have two, two of those. And I can see myself buying quite a bit more. All right, number three. 
It's the Canadian gold maple leaf. Oh, there are few coins minted today that I love more than the maple leaf, gold or silver. Now, Canada also excels on incorporating security features into their gold coins. The Royal Canadian Mint really knows what they're doing. And they also know how to create beautiful coins in seemingly never-ending varieties. It's amazing to me how many commemoratives and, and other types of coins they can pump out. They're gorgeous. However, I personally love the iconic maple leaf. That, that is spectacular, in my opinion. 24 karat gold never looked more stunning. It's the reason, by the way, I created the maple musket. 20 quarter ounce fractional gold maples in this tube. Ugh, love the maple leaf. Now, for those of you who hate the Canadian government, or again, the queen, I know this is a controversial pick, but... Understand that I don't have any admiration for the socialism of Canada or Justin Trudeau, but I just think that's, hey, you know, one less gold coin they have. And, uh, you know, my neighbor to the north really does a great job in minting these. So I still think this deserves its third place ranking. Down to the last two, both American. No surprise there. I'm an American. What can I say? <laughs> Number two is the American Gold Eagle. It's a classic, right? And here we see uh, the latest reverse. I really like that reverse. That eagle is, is, is regal. It's gorgeous. And uh, the price is is close to that of the Britannia, slightly more, but you're paying for a more recognizable gold coin in the United States. And it has a higher resale value here as well. It has at least one security feature that we know of, kind of lame, uh, missing read. If you look at the edge, there it is right there. <laughs> but I love it. Wonderful coin. And there's a reason I stacked an entire tube of American Gold Eagles back in 2009. That was my Yankee Cannon. Yeah, that was a big purchase. And they are a full ounce of 22 karat gold. Remember, uh, 22 karat gold doesn't mean that the coin weighs less or has less, I should say, than one ounce of pure gold. It has a full troy ounce of gold in there. It just weighs a little bit more. And they are a major stacking target. It's worth paying the a uh, few extra dollars over the Britannia to stack them. You won't be disappointed, especially if you're an American. And now, before I obviously tell you what number one is, I want to talk about proof gold coins. The premiums on proof gold coins are usually insane. I really splurged to buy this one. And I only got it because I wanted a little upgrade to my uh, signature sign-off at the end of my videos. And this gold American eagle is really stunning. I mean, it looks like it's 24 karat gold, but it isn't. You know, it's still 22 karat. Uh, it, it just, it's just beautiful. So if you want to collect uh, a stunning gold coin, I completely understand why you would want one of these. Just don't stack this, okay? Don't don't even don't stack any proof coins, gold or silver. All right, man, that is gorgeous. All right, number one, it's the American Gold Buffalo, and I am in love with this gold coin. I have uh, uh, five of them <laughs> so far. <laughs> and I'm going to keep on stacking them. This 24 karat beauty is a sight to behold. The coin's relief is just shockingly high. And yeah, I know that the edge can be a little bit uh, irregular. The, you know, the, the, um, the, the, I forget the name of it, but just this, this around this edge here, it's not always even, but come on guys. It's just beautiful. Look at that buffalo. Wow, that is so 
iconic. When I first held one, I was instantly hooked. And they are usually uh, slightly less expensive um, than a Gold Eagle. At least that's what I found. So anyway, there's my gold ranking for gold stackers. Frankly, if I did live in Great Britain, I probably would have put the Britannia first. Okay, followed by uh, the Buffalo, followed by the American Gold Eagle, and then the uh, Maple Leaf. Um, those top three are uh, somewhat fungible, uh, depending on where you live, of course. But before we sign off, I, I, I have something else I want to show you. From SD Bullion, it is their Truth Series Gold Coin. Oh, look at that in fact i'm gonna i am gonna zoom in on this one wow that is stunning yes it does have again the queen on the obverse and it is it is proof this was a complete splurge but look at that coin it is the tree of life from the book of Revelation, it means far more than uh, the gold or silver that I have in my stack. It, it represents my future salvation in heaven, being with my Lord Jesus Christ, being able to literally see this tree for real uh, and take part in eating from its fruit. This is uh, just incredibly uh, beautiful and very meaningful. It is one troy ounce there. You can see it. Four nines fine gold. Oh, man. I don't have many proof gold coins, but this one I had to have. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.